What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the final teams um, Going through my reaction to them and if they will change my trades Now I can't even remember what trades I said I was going to do last time I spoke to you guys So you'll see in a minute But um, yeah, so first game, nothing really too crazy um, Cochin in, I mean Cochin's dirt cheap He's going to be like, he can actually not be the sub He might be like a okay, cash cow Which is kind of weird to think about um, Constable, not even emergency once again. <laughs> it's getting to a joke at this point. I'm like, holy. Um, this away guy, Andrew, same day. No one relevant. Anyone relevant out? Not particularly. Um, Flanders <laughs> omitted rip. Nothing really on the West Coast either. Oh, Shannon Hearn injured. <laughs> if you pick him, you're pretty, pretty screwed. I mean, he can score, but he's just so old. Sydney Freo, um, Laddams is out, so Hickey back in, mm, nothing really relevant, Fife's the sub again, he's going to be dirt cheap as well. Northport, Ben Cunnington omitted, gee whiz, he's been pretty shit I guess. Um, nothing really relevant from Port either, so the team's been pretty chill. Um, Melbourne, Hawthorne. So Hawthorne, we expected Weddle to maybe get dropped. But the fact that he hasn't been dropped, and they dropped Scrimshaw over him. Lucas Green. Um, fuck, they swung the, swung the axe a bit. So I'll probably hold him, to be honest. Is this on the Sunday, this game? Or is this Saturday? I think this is on the Saturday. Yeah, so I'll probably hold... I'll probably consider getting... Weddle at this point because they've actually named him on field too, which is probably a good sign. Um, yeah, obviously he hasn't looked great. We'll talk about him in a little bit. But yeah, my trade plans have actually changed, so don't love it. So Parrish was out. That's pretty shit for anyone that has him. Um, do you hold? Do you trade? It's a calf, and I think it's the same calf he had last year where he was um, playing through the injury, so it's not ideal at all. Um, if you do have the trades, probably trade him, but otherwise you have to hold him, I think. Yeah, at this point, if I had him, I wouldn't be able to trade him. Just simply don't have enough trades left. Um, Will Setterfield named on ball. So if you have Setterfield, I think probably hold him just because he should get the CBAs back this week, um, provided that Parrish is out. Um, so Brody Kemp omitted. I think that's pretty stiff, to be honest. I thought he played quite well in his first couple of games. If you went early on him, not that many would have. Pretty, very stiff. Ed Kerner omitted. Cottrell and always in, so a bit more pace. Yeah, don't don't hate it. Adam Trelaw out's probably a pretty big out for the doggies. You'd think, well, it'd probably be Bailey Smith to get some more CBAs now. It won't be McRae. Oh, Lord, what a joke. Uh, Adelaide St Kilda, nothing really relevant here. Oh, there's a debutant for the Bulldogs, by the way, this James O'Donnell guy. So, fingers crossed he can be a decent cash cow for us. He's named on the interchange. Adelaide's in Kilda, so Sinclair's playing his 150th. That's good. I don't think he cops... Oh, he actually does. He'll probably cop Ben Keys. Fuck's sake. Um, that's annoying. That's very annoying because I've got him. So, <sighs> Fucking taggers, man. I'm so sick of taggers. Trent Bianco, Trey Roscoe, Reef McInnes, Aiden Begg. So, who's coming out for... Probably be like Markov, Rusko, Taylor Adams you'd think holds, Noble you'd think holds. I don't know. It's a weird one. Um, Cameron Fleeton, okay, whoever the fuck he is. Who's he named? Oh, I'm going to change. Okay, so that's it for the teams. Nothing too crazy, really. Um, now, the trades I'm thinking of doing. Now, I've, I've got a couple of options, all right? So, option one. This is what option one looks like. And I don't hate it. Um, this is one of those weeks where it's just really hard to work out what trade I want to do. And if I'm going to... What my thinking is, I want to actually hold Ashcroft. So, his last two at the... Gabber, he's, well, his average of the Gabber is like 94, so he should be okay. He plays two games at the, um, at the Gabber, the next to the Gabber, and um, the next one is Gold Coast. So, so he plays Gold Coast at the Gabber. I think he can go 100 plus that game. 
The thing is, it doesn't let me get in a Weddell or an Atkins. It makes kind of forces me to pick a Drury. So I don't want to do that. And obviously, I definitely don't want to field him, which I don't have to. I could just sit him there. That would help my team this week, no doubt about it, because then I have merit, obviously. I'm adding a promo. Um, the only issue is, does Drury hold? Um, and am I missing out on too much cash if I don't pick an Atkins or I don't pick... Um, I don't pick up Weddle. I don't know. I mean, Weddle show, shown he hasn't doesn't have the greatest scoring power. He does play backline though, so you'd think you think you'd think there's potential for him to play well, but I don't know if it's there really. Um, and then Atkins obviously has got a nice role, but the price tag's the issue with him. So tossing up. Um, the other option is to just simply double down and grab Weddle and. So do something like McKenna or Atkins and Oscar Baker, which hasn't really made that much money, for um, Weddle. So it gives me 370k. It's, it's pretty average. Um, and then I could just go, you know, I could go Wilmot up next week. Um which would be nice, like going Wilmot to a pretty much a new one, really. And then if I need to, I just get Drury. So one up, one down. Drury down. Uh, Radig uh, Radigalia to Madden, maybe. <sighs> I don't know. Or D Wilmot to Drury, and then um, maybe. Don't really want to have to trade Chandler. That's the thing. Like, there's not really anyone. I'll probably just do one up, to be honest. Um, so th th those are the two options I'm leaning towards. I don't want to pick one of the three, Brayshaw, Mills, and Steele. Pretty firm that they're all semi-traps. Um, Brayshaw, if he's got back injuries, there's potential he gets rested at times. Um, Mills' role's fucked. Tom McCartan's out, so he probably plays backline this week. <laughs> and yeah, he clearly doesn't have the same role as last year. I don't think Mills is the one. Um... And then the other option is Jack Steele, who just, one, looks shit, and two, played deep forward in that last quarter, I think, or the third quarter, one of them. So at this point, I don't trust any of those three. I'd much rather pay up and get a merit. The thing is, do I go a Drury, or do I just pick up those guaranteed cash makers? Well, they're not guaranteed, but they should make a little bit of coin. And Weddle's only going to make 23k this week if he scores 33. I think he's averaging 46, so it's... I don't know if we can really bring him in, to be honest. And the issue is, right, if I trade Weddle... So, if we'll reverse the trades, and this is a little bit of improv. Um, I think at this point of the week and at this point of the season, everyone's in the same boat. We're sort of reversing, seeing what can do with what. So, McKenna's the one I'm pretty firm on getting rid of. I don't want to get rid of a Chandler, even though it would give me some more money. I just think Chandler's got too good of upside at the MCG. It could just be like a coincidence stat that he just always scores well there. But the sample size, I think, is big enough for that not to be a coincidence. I think he's played like five or six games at MCG or something like that. Or maybe four games, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, if I went like an Atkins, right, and then I got rid of Baker, it only gives me 4 99 And I'm really firm on not trading Ashcroft. I know you're probably thinking, fuck, well, if you can get merit for Ashcroft, then that's pretty good. And it is good, no doubt. But I think Ashcroft has a bit of upside. I do remember a time last year where we traded out, a lot of us, myself included, traded out Nick Dacos. It was a pivotal point of the season, and it seemed like he'd made all, all the money he needed to make. And then he had a couple of massive games after that. So that's the sort of worry I have with Ashcroft. So I think at this point, I'm leaning towards getting Drury, and trust me, I don't want Drury, but beggars can't be choosers at this point. Like, seriously, I'm... I'm begging for some cash, Jen. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not it's not the move I'd love to make at all. It's just this predicament I'm in. And I also have to get some points, you know. It's not like... It's not like I've, you know, I'm dominating the rankings. Like, I actually have to catch up somehow. So, fingers crossed Atkins and Whittle don't work out <laughs> for my sake. Um, as dog as that sounds. But yeah, I just think, like, I've still got Rat to cash in. So, I'll show you what it looks like after the trade. So we don't want to field Drury. We're probably going to have to field Sam Simpson, which 
that I don't love either. I think we can loop. Um, I'll just quickly show you guys. Fuck you, Mills. Alright, so Merit in. <clears throat> it's a struggle. It's a real struggle right now. So this is how the team would look, right? So, we'll swing Wilmot down here and we'd sw swing Simpson up here. So we don't want to touch the forward line. But what we could do is we could emergency Simpson plays on the Friday, or the, yeah, the early Friday. Um, who's the loop? Oh, so Matthew Johnson can be the loop. So if Simpson's going good, then I can just bring him on for Wilmot. Otherwise, I'll be stuck with Wilmot, which is definitely not something I'd like to do either. Um, can't loop anyone else in the back line. So Sin Cotter, I'm pretty comfortable fielding. I mean, yeah, it's called Sicily. <laughs> How pathetic is that? Um, and then, yeah, so if we're looking at cash gen, we could go Radigalier to Madden next week. Now, I know Madden isn't playing, but he might play. He didn't get named, did he, this week? Should have worked, isn't he? Uh, no. No, no Madden. So, yeah, Radigalier to Madden gives me, like, 220k. Thereabouts, 230k. Should give me, like, let's say 250, close to 250. Then we trade out. Uh, Wilmot, and that gives us like 520, so that's okay. Um, or we could trade out an Ashcroft and get a Primo. That's the thing. That's the thing I'm so worried about because I'm trying to plan two weeks in advance. Um, and it seems like if, if I want to bring in two Primos, I'd actually have to swap Merit to someone like Brayshaw. You know what I mean? So let's say, right, let's say we swap Merit to Brayshaw like that. That gives us 70k in the bank. Now, what we can do with that 70k is actually quite substantial. So, Radigalia down gives us 300k in the bank with our remaining salary. That 300k can be added onto Wilmot. So, that'll be 564k. Hopefully, 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 someone like America could come down. Could he get to 564k? It's projected to lose 6k if he scores 119. 564k. It's not quite going to be enough. And that's where I have to maybe bring in Callum Mills. And this is not something I want to do. This is not something I want to do at all. <laughs> but at this point, I don't know if I should be prioritizing getting the rookies off the field, waiting, um, and getting the Ubers that I want. They're the two situations we can or sort of paths we can choose um but like if we get mills like he did have the cbas this week but i don't like it at all like this is not something i would love to do but could i gain an edge on the competition by bringing in a couple of cheaper primos getting those rookies at the field well maybe half the competition has a wilmot who scores 40 and i have a mills that goes 90 or 95 you know what i mean and then also have an extra primo next week like a merit because merit is the one i want to bring in so Merit next week for Wilmot is pretty ideal, considering I only have to get rid of Radigalia to, to fund that. So that's where the dilemma is coming, and I don't, I, I'm telling you, I do not want to get Callum Mills. How much is Dax Steel? How much is this prick? Because I don't want him either. 524, so it's one of them. Is it Steel or Mills? I don't know. I, I, I really don't like Steel. I think he's pretty injured still. Um, you'd think he would have gone bigger against fucking North Melbourne. Who don't even tag, but he just didn't. Like he just looks shit. But would I rather Mills or Steel? It's probably still Steel. It might have to be both. <laughs> Maybe Merritt smashes his break even this week. I don't have enough next week, and um, I have to grab fucking Mills as well. I don't know. Ugh. In terms of what I'm gonna do, I still don't know. I still do not know. So you guys can leave comments. Give me some feedback. What do you think? I'd love to hear all your opinions. Um, I just don't trust these primos. I don't trust Steel. I don't trust Brayshaw. I don't trust Mills. But it wouldn't surprise me if in three weeks' time I have all of them, just because I have to. Um, because, yeah, I think the main priority for all teams is get those shit rookies off the field. Get your Wilmots. Get your Oscar Bakers off the field ASAP. Chandler and Ashcroft, I think they're in a slightly higher tier because they can, you know, pump out a ton. Whereas Wilmot and Baker, they're fucking trash. So that's it for the video, guys. It's it's a kind of a bit of a cliffhanger end, I guess, because it's 
you, you know, you're not really getting any, um, you know, guaranteed trades. But that's just how it is at this point. And maybe Twitter, there'll be a, something, a curveball thrown tomorrow. You know, I don't know, Callum Mills injured or Callum Mills told he's going to play midfield for the rest of the season. I don't know. Fuck it out. We're dreaming at this point if we think that's going to happen. But um, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.